السلام علیکم ایوری ون آئی ایم آصف کمال یور انگلش ٹیچر آئی ہوپ موائس ول فائنڈ یو ان بیسٹ آف ہیلتھ اینڈ ویلتھ ہیئر وی آر ود اور فسٹ لیکچر دیٹ از آن انٹروڈکشن ٹو ٹینسز ایز یو نو دا ورڈ ٹینس آلویز پزل دا اسٹوڈنٹس آلویز بفل دا اسٹوڈنٹس when ever they are about to deal with them because most of the students find it pretty hard task to deal with tenses but in fact tenses are quite simple quite easy to understand and to tackle with them so in this lecture we will try to understand what are tenses in english so come to this page look at carefully and try to understand what are tenses in english tense is the form of verb to show the time and it happened you can say that tense is time of an action کہ ٹینس جو ہے وہ کام کرنے کا وقت ہے ٹھیک ہے آپ کا ایک جو ایک ایکشن ہے فارم کرنے کا جو وقت ہوتا ہے اس کو ہم کیا کہتے ہیں ٹینس کہتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے فار ایگزامپل آئی ایم ٹیچنگ رائٹ ناؤ آئی ٹاٹ یسٹرڈے آئی ٹیچ ٹمورو دیز تھری سینٹینسز آر انڈیکیٹنگ ٹائم in different aspects in different way first one is indicating present second one is indicating past and third one is indicating future in tense there are two most important things first one is time so here in this page we are going to deal with time time is categorized into three types first one is past present and future and the other thing is aspect it is formed by adding helping verb to hum isko kaise form karte helping verb ka use karke For example, if we are using is am are as a helping verb, it means we are dealing with present tenses. See, it means present continuous. Then, if we are using has have, it means we are dealing with present perfect tenses. Present perfect tense. Then, was and were. It means past, had. past perfect will and shall means future so these indicates aspects these helping verb actually indicates aspect of the tense so now we are going to deal with simple present tense that is also called present indefinite tense simple present tense or present indefinite tense where do we use it when the action is general when the action happens all the time when the statement is always true so these are the three main points that will help you to identify the sentences that belongs to present indefinite in other words we can say that present indefinite indicates the routine life the habits the actions that are repeatedly happening again and again the statements that are always true 
कि ऐसी स्टेटमेंट्स जो हमेशा सच होती हैं या फिर ऐसा एक्शन ऐसा प्रोसेस जो मीनिंग मीन की आदत के तौर पर होता है लेट सपोज मैं कहता हूँ कि आई गेट अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग और जनरल स्टेटमेंट आई लिव इन पाकिस्तान एंड देन फॉर अ ट्रू स्टेटमेंट द मून गोज अराउंड द अर्थ सो हाउ यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई दैट the sentences that are given to you belongs to present indefinite to ye hai ek way ki aap unko kis tarah identify kar sakte hain okay now come to the structure positive sentences subject then first form of verb then object when the sentence starts with he she it or any other singular subject we use s or es with the first form of verb for example he likes apple she writes an essay to jab ek sentence ke andar he she it ya koi bhi singular subject aayega to wahan par hum kya karenge first form ke sath s ya es ka izafa karenge theek then for negative sentences subject ab yahan par we will use helping verb do and does not then first form of verb and object now there is no use of s or es jo humne positive sentences mein kiya hum yahan par nahi karenge for he she it or any singular subject we will use does i we you they do to so, i we you they ke sath hum kya karenge do ka use karenge I don't like tea. She does not read the article daily. For interrogative, do and does at the start of the sentence, then subject, then first form of verb and object. Do you live in Pakistan? Does she write a letter? Simply, ये वाला structure जो है हम follow करेंगे interrogative sentences के लिए सवाल ये sentences के लिए तो कम टू द सिंपल प्रेजेंट ये सिंपल वाला पार्ट ये इसको टू डायमेंशन में किया जाता है ना प्रेजेंट इंडेफिनेट को तो सब्जेक्ट यहाँ पर हम क्या करेंगे इज एम आर एज ए हेल्पिंग वर्ब यूज करेंगे इफ वी गो बैक टू प्रेजेंट इंडेफिनेट पॉजिटिव स्ट्रक्चर जो हमने किया है वहाँ पर सिंपल सेंटेंसेस के लिए पॉजिटिव सेंटेंसेज के लिए जो स्ट्रक्चर हमने यूज़ किया है वहाँ पर हमने कोई हेल्पिंग वर्ब यूज़ नहीं किया बट यहाँ पर हम क्या करेंगे वी विल यूज़ is am are as a helping verb then first form of verb then object ye aise sentences ke liye hota hai jaise ki sham ho gayi hai it is evening hum sab musliman hain we all are muslims is it ali outside kya bahar ali hai it is fine today to aaj mausam suhana hai yaar mausam acha hai so that's the end of today's lecture try to understand all the concepts carefully take care of yourself allah hafiz